Well, good morning. This is Jeff Breedlove with the Georgia Council on Substance Abuse, and you are watching a, a live taped version of an interview with our executive director, Neil Campbell. And we're going to talk about a very um, special project that we're pushing out again after National Recovery Month so that we uh, have a wonderful success. And I want to save the announcement for, for Neil. The reason why this is taped, though, is we were going to go live, but Neil is so popular. This issue is so popular. I think, I think, I think Neil broke Facebook, but there was. I'm sure. I, I know that was it. Yeah. But all jokes aside, there was an issue with Facebook. So we are taping this and you're watching this. But Neil, you know, the Georgia Council, and I'm a person in long-term recovery, by the way, I want to say that as, as I begin this, the council is celebrating 21 years of service to the Georgia recovery community. And you as our executive director have just made uh, one of the most historic things happen in the nation for the recovery movement. So talk to us about what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. And hey, everybody, we are going to talk about the Georgia Recovers license plate. That's right here behind my left shoulder. You're right. Um, we were lucky enough to partner with uh, uh, Representative Eric Allen and he, the state representative, and he helped us, He actually he guided through legislation to adopt this Georgia Recovers license plate. So they are on sale now, pre-sales are happening now. And we are one of a very few, a number of a few states in the country that have this opportunity. And it's the opportunity, not just for stigma reduction, but also the reduction of discrimination. The more people accept that there are those of us in long-term recovery who are speaking out about our recovery, we're gonna see less stigma, we're gonna see less discrimination, and we're gonna have more people understand that recovery is possible for everyone. Uh, you know, Neil, a lot of people might be asking, uh, you know, and I understand the question, well, what's the big deal about a license plate? I mean, what does it really do to help maybe somebody who's in active addiction or somebody who's in recovery? You know, why does this even matter? I and mean, what would you say to that? Well, so there's two things. The first thing is all proceeds go to uh, our, the Georgia Council and the Georgia Mental Health Consumer Network. So for every license plate we sell, a donation comes to our coffers, which helps us spread the message even broader. The other thing is, again, if you it normalizes recovery. We are constantly fighting the stigma that comes with radio, with film, with television shows. If you think about, there are very few positive messages about recovery, about substance use disorders. You tend to, people tend to think, oh, nobody gets better from that. Nobody, everybody just uh, th that is, has a substance use disorder, has a mental illness. They don't, you know, they're always going to be that way. Their lives don't get better. And we're here to say that's not true. Our lives get tremendously better. We get our lives back. We get uh, a lot of doors open for us. Uh, once we are in recovery, we are we contribute to our communities. There's more public safety. It just gets that word out there that recovery is real, that recovery is possible for everyone. You know, Neil, you're absolutely right. I mean, this is um, one of the most serious ways that we do help the recovery community. And, you know, I, I tell people all the time, if you know, it doesn't matter where you live, traffic is and congestion is out of control, especially in Metro Atlanta. Yeah. But even if you're in rural Georgia and you're driving long distances from point A to point B, you know, we all see license plates. And, and what I would challenge anybody who's watching this video to do, the next time you're in your car, pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. When you come to a stoplight or when you're in a parking lot, you'll see the University of Georgia license plates and the Georgia Tech license plates and the Save Wildlife license plates and the breast cancer license plates. You'll see them and you'll have a reaction to them. You know, if you hate the University of Georgia, you'll have a reaction. If you love the Bulldog, you'll have a reaction. It doesn't matter what the reaction is. These license plates sell because they cause a reaction. And we need to get that word out that recovery is real. So no, it's a it's a time. This is not the first one of these. We're not breaking the mold. We we know they work. There's been study after study that they work, and all the money that you pay will go right into peer uh, services to support recovery in Georgia. Now, Neil, at this point, you know people might be saying, "Well, that's kind of cool." What's involved in getting one? 
Yeah, so before I get to that, Jeff, I just want to say too that research also shows that about 10%, between 8, 8 and 9% of any population are people in recovery who identify in recovery. We see that time and time again. So there's over 10 million people in Georgia. There's millions more that are on our, our, our roadways. And so just think of that message. If we could get everybody who, was, who believed in recovery, who, whose lives have been improved because they have made good choices in their lives uh, in recovery, just think of how many we could sell. So you don't have to pay the entire amount up front. Just an initial deposit of $25 will get you in the door. We have to pre-sell a thousand of these before they'll start printing them off. And so we're right at 400 and we want to make a big push between now and Thanksgiving to get even more. So to get to our thousand number. So if you've been thinking about it, if you've heard about this campaign, uh, and you say, hey, I don't know if I've got the extra 25 bucks, we would love it if you could find it in your hearts to do that, because if we can get to that 1,000 number, uh, we'd rather get there sooner rather than later. So um, please take you know, the initiative. There'll be a link in this. Uh, tell me how that works, Jeff. There'll be a link somewhere close to where you are right now that you can hit, and it, it makes it real easy. I've done it. Um, you know, I, I think it, it's just, there's, it's no muss, no fuss. An initial pre-sale of $25 will help to go toward this 1,000 that we need. Exactly right, Neil. It's very easy. There, there, there will be a, a link attached in, on the Facebook post in the comments for, for this video. And I'll also say, Neil, that um, with your, uh, under your guidance, we'll be doing a lot of emails between now and uh, Thanksgiving, specifically about the license plate. Yes. So if you're not on our email list, you can go to our website, uh, gasubstanceabuse.org. That will also be in the link when this airs live. Um, so you can sign up at the bottom of the homepage for our emails. Um, but we'll put them in our regular emails. We're gonna, we've done a series of videos during National Recovery Month around Georgia with some uh, recovery leaders um, that have taped uh, holding a license plate. So you'll yeah. see some of the wonderful diversity of our recovery community, yeah. uh, encouraging you to get a plate. Uh, once you see one of these many posts, the way that you help advance it is to share that post on your social media. So one way you can help promote this is to share the post you see on social media, to forward the email you receive to your email list. Now, a lot of folks that have already are in that 400, the number one question I tend to get out there when I'm uh, at one of these recovery month events or events that I'm, I go to is when are we gonna be able to get our plate? <laughs> and, and Neil, I'd like to just take a minute and say, that's what Neil was telling you. When we get that 1,000th plate pre-sale, they will start the production. So here's my challenge. If you're one of the 400, go get one more friend who supports recovery, one yeah. more peer in recovery, to go ahead and get there. I was talking with somebody just the other day in Sandy Springs who said, oh yeah, I keep forgetting to get it. And we're gonna get four of them. And I'm like, well, wow. that would move us a Hurry long up. way towards it. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't understand about the 1000, uh, you know, initial number. So you may be planning to get this. You may not know that you can't get it until we get a thousand pre-sale. So we need those pre-sales. $25 gets us there. And, and that'll go a long way. Neil, we're going to wrap this up with one or two more questions for you. So, you know, what does it mean to our movement when we're advocating to businesses, when we're advocating to elected officials to pass laws and to fund uh, programs like the recovery community organizations, like the CARES Academy? What does it mean if we don't get a thousand percent? Yeah, it means that we, we built this up and then we weren't able to deliver. And we always say, you know, cares show up and we show up in recovery. That's what we do. We show up in our lives. I know for me, I show up in my life in such a meaningful way that I never could before when I was in active addiction. So, you know, let's show up for our communities. Let's let's show up for our kids and for people to show that, hey, Recovery is real, that Georgia, you have a community and a state that supports recovery. Let's show that we, we can support it as well. I think it's really Absolutely. important that we, we ask for this. I, I, we've been working on this legislation for three years. 
um, with Eric to say, you know, look, other states are do, starting to do this. Let's get on the cutting edge. And he did it. He, in, you know, we, we pushed him. He pushed his, his peers and we got it done. So let's show up and, and you know, everybody that we talked to said, oh yeah, we can get a thousand pre-sold, but let's show up and start doing that now. Now's the time. Now is the time. It, it would be wonderful if we could announce um, Thanksgiving week that we're thankful for a thousand pre-sales. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, you know, this isn't anything you know, Madison Avenue marketing here. We just want to <laughs> use Thanksgiving as a time where we can tell the stakeholders that are supporting us at the Capitol, uh, in, in communities across Georgia, that, hey, there's over 800,000 people in recovery in Georgia. And by the way, we got 1,000 pre-sales. And when you think about that, 800,000 in recovery, we only have to get 1,000 pre-sales. That's really not an unreasonable request from the state. So we've got to show up. So Neil Campbell, you know, last question for you today. You know, what would you say to somebody if they said, Neil, I'm asking you as our leader, does this really make a difference? Yeah, it absolutely makes a difference. You know, license plates are, I mean, there's a reason that so many people want to have specialty plates. It's because people look at them and they matter and they make a difference. And I'll say it again, it's, to, it's around normalizing recovery. It's like saying, you know, the, it used to be the belief that if you have a substance use disorder, you have a mental illness, your life is just doomed. And that's not the case. And we have to get that word out. It is up to us to, you know, there's nothing about us without us. And so we have to be the ones who are saying, hey, I'm in recovery and this is what it means for me. And you can get recovery too. I think about, you know, if I was in my deepest, darkest days and I saw, it, saw a recovery is real, license plate, I, or if I was in early recovery, and I, I, I could say, man, I get it. Yeah, it is. And I want that. So I think it's just really incumbent on us to, we had a voice, we got this license plate with, with the help of the legislature. We're really happy about it. They voted for us. Let's show up and show them that we can perform. Thank you, Neil. There'll be videos coming from, from peers and, and leaders all throughout October and November. Yeah, and and Jeff, if I could just say, you said that, yeah, that we're not Madison Avenue, but I'm telling you, I've seen some of these videos of some of the leaders from the state house and some of our public policy folks, and they're really, really good. So um, I'm excited about you getting to see these videos. All right. So everybody, Neil's got one behind her. I'm holding one up right here. It says it right here on the license plate. Recovery is real. <laughs> Let's get to 1,000. Thanks very much. Thank you, Neil Thanks, Campbell. Jeff. Thanks, Jeff.